Hello YouTube. I have a 2012 Chevy Tahoe Police Pursuit. And what I have is a no crank, no start. I look back here for the wires. I don't see what wires people are talking about. But I, I see the wires right here. I tested that. Test light came on okay. This tested all the grounds. Everything came out battery positive. So checking everywhere checking everywhere even felt this little ground that was hanging off plug that shit back in even checked the relays nothing was there crank no nothing people say it's my battery i got like three batteries this is not the battery when you go inside you got that light staying on crank the engine nothing Nothing. Radio works. I'm drawing, but yeah. Everything works. Stability track one. Doesn't say nothing about service theft control module or nothing. Everything's plugged in. Even fucking wasted $40 on a new ignition switch. And it could be wrong, though. cranking it's nothing but I know it's not the battery nor a starter for the simple fact yeah this don't have no doors they gave it to me the worst condition ever ouch yeah so it's the engine take this paper clip this is the starter relay so take this drawing out I know this drawing working and I'm gonna crank over the engine with this drawing so watch. Hold on. Gotta fix this drawing. Something like this. That's all I get. That's all I get. But put y'all on something. Smell a lot of fucking wasted fuel. They say you usually don't use this. This is a flex fuel vehicle. Got some starting fluid. So I know it's not getting no fuel injection, no fuel pumps. Cause I'm gonna directly take this off. This up. Uh, Pull it up. There you go. Lift it up. Open the throttle. I'm gonna spray some fluid in there. So hold the drum right there. Watch me. Starting fluid. Open this drum. Do a couple sprays. One, two, three. And put it back on. Ugh. No fancy shit though. Alright. Put it down. Now. Back to this joint, since the key don't start. I'll take our little friend, so I'll crank it over. Now listen. You heard that? The engine started. It ran because I put gas into it. You hear it running. But nothing. Fucking nothing. And I smell like I'm just burning all the fucking cylinders and lubrication, so still got this fucking light on. Got the money light on. Brake light, put the brake light on. Got these stupid ass codes. Ignition switch, run start, circuit position high. U100, lost communication with the PCM and ECM. Same old codes, and if I go down, I can't really erase the codes. I got three different menus. I got the engine, the transmission, and the fucking... What is it? Uh, what is it? Uh, I don't know what that is, but... um, 
breed the cool for you guys and I got a P1682 and a uh, P throttles is a, I never got these cool before but I've been usually getting the uh, I've been usually getting this cool I just got this cool recently and I just started getting these codes today. Like when I first got the car, I got this code. So, nothing there. And when I go into the transmission and read the code, I get the U100 again in the ignition switch. Bullshit. And when I go to the engine and read the engine code, I get a P0. I don't even get the... Uh, Oh, this is the wrong one. Sorry about that guy. This menu, I think this is the anti-theft and the PCM and the process. I get this only code. Only code. So, yeah. It's, it's October. I'm trying to get this thing running before Halloween. And uh, this is a fucking bummer. Cranking no start. You hear the starter turning over. Took all the fucking dash out. They um, ripped everything. I got the multimeter here. I got the probe pin. And uh, I'm stuck. So if anybody can help me, I'm um, I'm willing to take any answers. I even sat here for the 30 minutes to program the key. Nothing yet. So, um, yeah. See my battery voltage is working. I see the oil pressure little gauge is up in the running. So you drop it down, it goes up. I see that most, some of my gauges are working. See the airbag light go out, traction control, stability, and uh, and look, and this is the, this is the key they gave me. This is the, a new key that I bought from eBay. Got a cut, put it in there. It always does this weird shit. Even when you replace the new ignition switch, it act like it doesn't want to go cylinder and all that bullshit and this is the new key nothing nothing with the new key and i'm gonna show you that the new key is in there not the old key go out here do this shit again Fuck you, GM. So if anybody got some suggestions, any ideas, let me know. I'm willing to take it. They replaced the fuse box and everything. And it sounds like if I keep on cranking this shit, this shit is just going to stink and do some damage or shit. So I'm just going to not do it. And uh, yeah. Fuck.